Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Feel the Snow. It's a... Sandbox RPG? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, guess I gotta create a character first. I guess... I guess I'm gonna be Willy. Ah, this is it. Okay, so we've got craft. I can make a wooden stick. Got that. Oh, hey, there's a skill tree. Neat. There's a map. This actually looks really nice. I mean, the character models are basic as all get out, but whatever. Let's talk to this old man. What's the matter? Where is everyone? Dot, dot, dot. Are they alright? My house survived. Come to my place. I'll tell you what I saw. And he just fades from existence. Okay, visit the old man in the survived house. What happened to the village? He's waiting for you in the survived house. Oh! I have a... If I right click, I dodge backwards, I guess. Farm. I've never seen it so quiet here. Um... Map. Maybe his house is down here? So except for the fact that the character models are, like, awkward little snow people, uh, I actually really like this game. So far, like, visually. Roland used to make good swords. Hope he's alright. Like, it, it reminds me of... I don't know. I, I, I just, I guess I like the isometrism. They look nice. The music's good. I'm just curious to see more. And also, I really wish I knew where I was going. Hunger, temperature. Got a little bit of mana, experience, stamina. So, yeah, there's there's a level system. Oh, good. I can sprint if I if I do shift. Can I can I harvest the stick? The answer is, doesn't look like it. Okay, so, oh, okay, so sprinting does does cost me stamina. Seems like it comes back fairly fast, but still. That fountain looks horrifying. Okay, so where's this old man's house? Joe's shop, totally destroyed. Oh, wait, it's marked on the map. God damn it. <laughs> oh well, it's it's nice looking around. I I guess looking at this now, it kind of reminds me of like some kind of more RPG-ish version of that's a chicken thing. I can't, okay, I can't do much with it, but still. The only survived house. Uh, E to open. Gotcha. So what did you want to tell me? At night, I was awakened by a sudden loud noise. The walls were trembling, and everything was crashing down. I warned the citizens that I'd seen these strange creatures at night, but nobody listened to me. Strange creatures? Black is soot, and obviously not from these parts. The citizens had dreamt about them in their sleep, but this dream was reality. Nightmares, as they were called lately. I'll give you advice. Prepare for the night. It's not safe here anymore. I'll give you advice. Prepare for the night. Not safe here anymore. Okay, prepare for the night. Old man has told you about terrible creatures at night. Nightmares. Make weapons. You're definitely going to need it at night. Okay, well, I got a crafting bench here. Can I interact with that? Can't interact with that. Okay, let's craft a wooden stick. I need three stick-looking things. Okay, so how do we how do we prepare for the night? Anyway, do I do I like go outside of town? Do I do I do what? Me quest dark zone? Don't get it. All right. Well, this is vague. Looks like the slimes don't mess with me. So we got these like sticks here. Can I? Oh, I got it. So by walking over it? No, I have to press E. Okay, gotcha. Can I grab any of these things? Now it looks like most of this stuff is purely cosmetic. Okay. So we want to make a wooden stick for whatever reason. We've got these plants here. Okay. Ooh, I like this song. It's interesting. I might actually see if I can get uh, the guys together for multiplayer for this. Maybe? We'll see. I don't know. So far I'm being kind of positive about it because it seems interesting. But, I mean, you never know. You never know with these things. They they can be really bad. And I think my only complaint is the fact that the main character is this dumpy little creature. But then again, I'd rather have this dumpy little creature as a main character than, um... Oh, shoot. Oh, so I have a wooden stick for fighting. I got an axe, pickaxe, shovel saw, hammer. Doesn't look like we got anything else. Campfire, fire pit, wooden flooring, workbench. I think... We already have a workbench, maybe? Let's 
go for an axe. So I gotta go find some more sticks. Okay. Oh, okay, so I can attack now. That's cool. Let's go find something to murder. You look murderable. Ah! Ah! This thing hurts! Alright, so I smacked the shit out of a slime. Uh, let me see. How do we... Ah! I'm halfway to a level. Okay. Neat. Who's this guy? Greetings! I am Av Avgard. Legends will be told about my deeds. Do you know what happened here? No, I don't... Never mind! Don't worry, I'll deal with it myself. You'd better find a good chronicler. Right. Okay, so we've got stuff like food. We've got a ton of resources out here. I think I'm gonna make myself uh, an axe, first and foremost. Can I do anything with these? Nope. Okay. Can't do much with this. I'm worried about the shadow people. Here. First, we're going to beat the shit out of this slime. Do I ever get tired of murdering this thing? Nope, that was horrifying. Alright, so we've leveled up. Gonna grab the last couple of things, and then we're gonna book it back to the old man's house. That way we can take a look at what we're up to, and pass, and, well, everything, I don't know. Okay, where's the house anyway? It's over here on the right. I think. Yes. Sweet. Can I interact with the mailbox? No. It'd be nice if it was a little bit more obvious uh, where things are that I can interact with. Also, not entirely sure if I'm supposed to hang out here or not. Okay, so we've got Elusive Rush, Concussion Blow, Wind Blade. We can also do Sword Mastery, Arrow Mastery, Magic Mastery, Matter Regeneration. So we've got Ice Ball, Ice Spikes, Ice Barrier. I was hoping I could get, like, a healing move, but still. But I don't have anything, skills-wise, like, one way or another. Ice Ball's tempting, just because. Uh, I know for a fact I'd be able to use it. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, I'll keep Ice Ball as my number one skill. Let's craft us some, uh... Can I make, like, a bed? Wooden flooring, a workbench. It's a workbench required. Yeah, so we're gonna need stones, flint, wood. Let's make an axe, close this, and a pickaxe. Probably gonna need a bit of both. I don't think I have enough resources for any of these other things here. That's fine, we don't have any food. Okay, so what do we have in our inventory? We do have these marshmallows, which healed me, but did not, uh, did not make me feel any better. Well, no, it healed me, but it didn't fix the whole hunger issue. Alright, so there's campfire, there's fire pit. These things I'm gonna have to mess with. Uh, let's go inventory. Let's see. Can I, like, can I sleep? I guess not. Alright, well, let's murder the chicken. Ow! Fighting things in verticality is a pain. Okay. Okay. Good news. Bad news. I can't... I, this chicken might murder me. Oh, wait. Right. Ah! Ah, this chicken will murder me. Okay, door's closed. Chicken won't murder me. I was worried about that. Okay, so no fights with chickens. How do I cast magic? Ah! Okay, so I just have to aim my mouse somewhere. This chicken will, will in fact, murder me. Oh, that's, that's good. I wonder how mana recovers. If it does. So what are we supposed to do? Just hang out until it's bedtime? Or awake time? I'm dying. I, I'm dying. I'm dying real bad. 
It's interesting though. Okay, I got I got some mana back, so that's good. Well. And I'm dead. Okay, till the end, what happens? Respawn. It's fine. I don't need to go anywhere, so it's sweet at home. Okay, so nothing happened apart from the chicken's no longer, I think, angry at me. Well, that's good. Sort of. I'm very confused. Well, considering the chicken's no longer trying to murder me, and I'm, like, nearly dead, we're just gonna go out, we're gonna wander around. If I get murdered by shadow things, I get murdered by shadow things. It looks like this game's fairly forgiving to begin with, but yeah, I'm, I'm near death. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, that's the worst that can happen. Looks like we might be okay here. Alright, I got a thing. What did I get? I have no idea. Read through the mysterious note. You find a note while fighting a nightmare. Okay, gotcha. Alright, let's just hope my stick... Okay, I can't move. I'm stuck on a bush thing, but I can fight this, this nightmare while we're here. I just gotta keep an eye out for it. It's actually pretty good experience farming. I just gotta make sure I fight them on the horizontal. If I don't fight them, if I fight them on the vertical, we take damage. Uh, but horizontal, we can deal with it. Okay. They're worth an okay amount of experience. How much are they? Uh, it looks like they're 60 each. Seems reasonable. Okay. Well, I'm not running out of sticks anytime immediately. Though I should probably make a second one, just in case. Who knows, maybe I can, maybe I can run away from them. Let's create another wooden stick just in case, go into my inventory, pull it down to five. Oh. Interesting. So having a spare wooden stick might actually save my butt here. Hey! Wait, did I already get this one? Nope. There, I got it. Okay. Cool. Let's murder this other slime. Mostly for propriety and to get that extra level. He seems largely unhappy with these, uh, these current events. But, I mean, you know what? I don't really have a whole lot of pity for slimes in life. They exist mainly to die. Oh yeah, let's grab the other slime bit. Okay, so I've leveled up again. It doesn't feel like, um... It doesn't feel like it's worth it. So let's go with one into the this elusive rush. I have no idea how to use it, so maybe I have to... Ah. Okay. Not entirely sure how worthwhile this is going to be. But still. Okay, so let's grab the let's grab the axe. Let's grab this twig thing. And start chopping down some trees. We're gonna need them. Uh, the pickup animation is going to be quite annoying now that I think about it. Like I should at least be able to like area loot or something. At least the character, like, automatically runs over and and picks some stuff up for me. Okay, so I got some, like, rutabaggy looking things. Let's let's run back. I've got some extra materials. Oh, got the marshmallows again. I want to see if I can get some food in me. Unfortunately, we might have to make the, uh, like, a campfire first. And other things. Yeah, I don't have any recipes available. Let's make a fire pit. I don't know if fire pits last forever. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so let's head back here. I don't, I don't know if the old man is... is gonna, like, go away, or, like, what the dealio is, but still. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it down... Ah! Out here. I can't build near the settlement. Oh, interesting. So, I guess it's... I have to, um... I have to fend for myself out here. Okay, well that's fine. Let's find a nice little clearing. This looks pretty clear. Yeah, like right here. Alright, and let's grab these like rutabaga looking things. And let's see what I can do. Can I, can I cook anything? 
Okay, so the marshmallows are a little bit of HP. Purple Swede. So we still haven't learned any recipes yet. Can I interact with the, the fire? Oh, yes. Roasted Swede. 25 points of hunger each. Let's see if I can roast a marshmallow. Yep. Alright, that's cool. Uh, we've got purple Swede seeds. Okay. I'm just gonna start farming out here. Let's let's see if we can let's see if we can do some other things. I'm curious about if the fire pit's ever gonna run out of juice or if I'm kind of good there. But yeah, if I can find some extra marshmallows, that'd be nice. It'd actually be really nice if I could Um It'd actually be really nice if I could Uh what am I thinking? Build a base around it, build like a little farm. I'm glad that farming is, like, kind of something I can do almost immediately. I'd like to kill one of these chickens, but, uh, looks like that's a little bit beyond my, my current abilities. Okay, so... Let's keep grabbing things. Let's check the map. Where did I put my fire? I actually don't know. That's concerning. Okay, here we go. So what can we, what can we do with this? So we've got flint. Can't do anything with that. Twigs. I think... Nothing. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Plant a tree sapling so we can do that. Here. Let's see what the maximum food we go up to is. Actually, I don't know what it is. I'm going to assume it's 100. Let's read the note. Things are going according to the plan, but the witch saw everything. Find her and kill. The witch must know something. You have to find her. Maybe the old man knows where she is. Okay, uh, question. Can I add twigs to this fire to start it back up again? Okay, cool. So that's something to note for the future. Can't do anything with that. Green herbs. Oh! These green herbs I've been picking up are actually useful as well. Okay, well, seeing as I'm not starving anymore, let's go find the old man. Actually, if I've got a pickaxe, can I do anything with this? Ah, we need a shovel. Can I make a shovel? Yes. Saw, hammer, no, we'll leave those for later. We also need a workbench, so I need more stones and more other things. I'll just pick up what I can. Because I assume we're going to need a workbench before I can do anything particularly useful. I wish tools were maybe a little bit easier to um, use in this game. Like, uh, what's a good example? Uh, you know, like if you just clicked on a tree and your character would automatically use the axe. Maybe. Or maybe... I don't know. Hard to say. Games like these are always kind of hard to... I'm going to say diagnose, just because... What's this? Are you friendly? Well, it doesn't look unfriendly. So I guess that's a benefit. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we have a shovel, so I can now dig up those piles of whatever. I'm not sure. Okay, old man. What brings you here? I need your help. I have to find the witch. The witch? Believe me, you'd be better off not messing with her. But she is my... Oh, but she's my only clue. Well, if so, I'll show you the way. I'll draw you a map. In the meantime, may you go and look for firewood? Oh. Go for firewood. Ten units of firewood. Okay. I'm not entirely sure if I should be chopping all the trees in town. Maybe I can replant trees in town. Nope. Okay, let's not chop down any any trees in the settlement. I wonder if the settlement uh, kind of becomes like a, a self-managing town after we're done. That would make actually a lot of sense. Oh yeah, six. 
What did we get? I have no idea what we got. Music in this game is really good, actually. I like it. It's very... It's very upbeat, but, like, not bad or anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be bad. It's just kind of common that, uh... That, like, music in games, especially for, like, low-budget indie games, kind of bad. And this one definitely, definitely dresses to impress, I guess, would be the, uh, the wording I'd like to use. It would be nice if I knew exactly some of these rules beforehand, like, if the tutorial is a little bit more explicit. Because, uh, like, if the old man was like, you know, see if you can kill one of those shadow things at night, I'd be like, alright, that makes sense to me. Uh, but instead it's very... It's very vague. Okay, let's try six. Can I dig up a stump? Yes. Okay. Because, yeah, the stumps look like ass. This reminds me of, uh, Don't Starve. I should play Don't Starve again. It's been almost a year since Shipwrecked came out. And that was fun. And, oh, you know what? I wonder if Shipwrecked has multiplayer yet. That would actually be really cool. Maybe. Or frustrating. Really depends. Heh! You can't fight me, Shadow Creature. You exist purely for my own e experience. Smacky, smacky, smacky. Death. Yes. Alright, we should try uh, special attacks against them. That was... Lackluster. Oh, we got another note. Wonder if it's the same variety of note. Oh, recipe wooden sword. So, in that case, murder more. Oh, okay. Ow. Okay. Also, can't hold down to attack. Have learned this now. So killing killing creatures gets us recipes. Very good to know. I'm gonna go back to the old man for the time being. I think we have enough firewood for him. However, of course, we're going to murder the crap out of the shadow creature. Also, uh, it looks like um, if your weapon breaks and you have another one of the same variety uh, in your inventory, it'll... Uh, Let's see. I for inventory? Yeah. So recipe, wooden armor, wooden sword. Let's see if we can make them. <sighs> ah, requires a workbench. Okay, not so useful. Well, a different matter. However, could you bring more firewood? Here you can find the witch. But you must be careful. She is more cunning than any fox in these lands. Okay, so we've got to go find the witch. On map. She's out there somewhere. Okay, that's fair. Uh, we're gonna want to make. Oh, I've got plenty of wood. All right, let's get a workbench because we're gonna need one of those. I can't do much with these. Might need like a saw and stuff. We've also got like flooring and stuff. I wouldn't mind making um basic equipment before we go too much further. So let's let's go after the shadow dudes. Because they're kind of pushovers anyway. I assume combat's going to get harder. As we go along. I was really expecting this sword dash to actually, you know, do damage. But instead it's, uh, it does the exact same amount as my regular ones. Maybe I gotta level it up. I'm not entirely sure. I also need to figure out how to mark out my... My fire pit. In fact, yeah, my fire pit isn't marked in the slightest. That's unfortunate. Well, I don't know if this is going to be my permanent. Oh, do I have to... I have to have wooden flooring first. Okay. Crafting, wood flooring. Let's make a bunch of wood flooring. Don't know what these limitations are. Oh. 
Okay. I'll probably dig up my farm after a certain point. I'm just confused. Okay, so can I craft near the workbench now? Yes. Okay, so we've got wooden armor. Two wooden swords. Okay, I'm gonna throw swords over there. So sadly, it doesn't show up on the character. But whatever, okay. So my rutabaga things are done. Do we have any more seeds for them? I have one roasted swede. But it doesn't look like I got any more... I don't have any more swede seeds. Got like a little bit of snow and I've got a ton of tree, ch tree saplings. Okay, well, in this case, let's um, let's go to eight. Well, this is kind of a smart little sandbox game. It's really innocuous. It's not. It's not very. Uh, it's not very complex, but that's okay actually. Like it doesn't need to be. 